Okay, so now that we have an idea of what displacement and time is, let's go to another quantity, which is velocity. So, so we are studying each of the of the variables that we will be using in the next in the next in the entire sem. Actually, if you have not in that yet, so yeah, special acceleration. So, for example, we have a moving car. A moving car that well, of course, it's moving, but just like that. So, of course. What can we can you can have a stopwatch, for example, to measure the, the, the time it took for this um, car to move from an initial position to a final position. So yon. So gawin natin, let's idealize. So, let's idealize the system as if initially, so this is set to so ang ginawa, di ba? Since we idealize the situation, ang unang ginawa nag set ng coordinate system. So here we will assume that the positive axis is the one at the moving at east. The direction of the positive axis, the positive x-axis is towards east. So you negative towards west. Okay? So yeah. So let's idealize. So uh, we assume that initially the car is at some initial position. Um, and x equals zero here is the origin. But in this case, the position of the car initially is not at the origin. It's something that's uh, far from the origin, but, uh, and it moved. And it stopped at some point, at some final position, xf. So, yeah, so it stopped at some direction. <laughs> okay. So, the time interval here is the change in um, from initial time to some final time. Usually, the initial time is set as zero. Pero, in general, pwede hindi naman. So, the time interval is delta t, tf minus ti, and the displacement is the vector um, from the initial position to the final position. That's I said is x2 vector minus x1 vector. Okay? Questions? So, yeah. Now, the question is, what's the rate of change of the displacement per time of this of this car? Yun yung pwede natin tanong. So, dun papasok yung average velocity. So, the average velocity is... So again, you have this system here. You started with T1. Uh, assuming that the, so yun, meron ng values apparently, yung motion na car. Assumed initially that the car started at 14 meters and the car um, stops at 71 meters. So, okay. Or of course, that's the only um, part of the motion that we observed um, in the in this situation. So the average velocity is the rate of displacement over time. So we can compute the average velocity such that such as it's just the difference of the displacements over the difference in time. So delta, uh, sorry, difference in positions. Sorry for that. Well, I'm difference in displacement. Difference in positions, which is your displacement over the time interval, which is the differences in time. Difference in time. So, pala. Okay. So, yon. So, that's basically your average velocity. Again, it's average because it's possible that the car slowed down in this area or maybe speed up in this area and so on and so forth. What we only are interested for now is the average of average rate of change in, um, in the position or therefore average rate of displacement over a time interval. Okay. So, as an exercise, calculate the velocity of the for the figure above. Okay. I'll... Uh, Calculate the velocity for this figure above. Um, I'll be giving you maybe a minute to go to go through that. And actually, calculator worked off. Pero sige. I'll pause recording. Okay, so two minutes have elapsed. Um, let's calculate the velocity of this figure. So basically, we just need to substitute the quantities. So V average x is just equal to um, the final position is 71 meters minus the initial position, which is 14 meters, all over the, the final time, which is four seconds, minus the initial time, which is one second, and we get something like, and dito yung sagot, 19 meters per second. So that's the answer. Did you get your an the answer correctly? If not, okay lang naman yan. If yes, that's good. Okay? So, uh, okay lang, get some topic na to, 19 dehan? 19 yes, sir. Ka? Okay, thank you. Okay. Now, so um, there's also this thing called average speed. So average speed is different from average velocity in the same way that um, distance is different from displacement. So average speed is just 
distance over time interval. So we will not define our speed to be v. Uh, some books do that, but for because what's important for us is the velocity of a particle, not the speed of the particle. In this context, we will define our average speed as just ab speed. Ganyan lang siya isinusulat ngayon. Okay? Baka kasi sanay kayo sa iba yung teachers dati na V yung ginagamit for speed. Pero minsan nakakalito siya. Okay? Questions? May tanong ba rito? It's just distance over time. Of course, this is more familiar to you guys. Okay. For example, in two seconds, an object took the following path. So let's say you have an, a particle initially at this position, then it moved 10 meters to the east, and then it moved 8 meters to the west. So... Calculate the average velocity and the average speed. So since this is an example, I need to solve this. Um, so what is the average speed? The average speed is just what? Again, since we are talking of distances here, we do not consider the direction the particle has traveled or the object has traveled. So in that case, we just add them as is. So we have 10 meters plus 8 meters all over 2 seconds, which gives you what? Um, 9 meters per second. Tama? Tama? Okay. Now, however, what about the average velocity? So the average velocity is... Wala na akong space. So the average velocity is just... Note here that uh, we will assume a coordinate system of the form something that's positive is towards east, something that's negative is towards west. So the average velocity is... How do you calculate this? So the final position minus the initial position. Okay? So um, when you do that, and you see that the average speed is uh, just the magnitude of the average velocity. So yon. So anong, 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 anong sagot dito? Anong sagot dito? So you have, okay, so the average velocity is just 10 meters I hat um, total dis total displacement traveled, so plus an 8 meters uh, negative I hat all over 2 seconds. So, so the answer should be what? Ano yan? 1 meter per second. One meter per yes, it's 1 meter per second. Kulang pa. May nawawala. This is a vector, right? Right? May I hat dapat yan. <laughs> Di ba? Tama ba? Tama? Tama? May I hat. Again, ang I hat. Again, I'm using the positive I hat to be the one that's at least. Okay? Tama? Tama ba? Pakasabi ko may... Okay, tama naman. 